Vikings quarterback Teddy Bridgewater suffered a dislocated left knee and a complete tear to his ACL in a freak practice injury. With the season opener 12 days away, the Vikings front office had a decision to make. Play with the roster they have or make a move to bring in another quarterback. It was the Vikings who reached out to Philadelphia on Wednesday. Yeah, I think it just takes time. It takes reps. You know, unfortunately, we don't have uh, a lot of either of those. So, you know, you know, I've had to learn new offenses in the past. I don't know if I've ever had to learn one, you know, quite this fast or in this much of a hurry. As Bradford dove into an entirely new playbook, the Vikings turned to veteran quarterback Sean Hill in week one. Sean Hill gets the start today. Why? Uh, I, I think it's a smart play. Why? Because it gives the Vikings the best chance to win today. Hill going deep for Diggs. And Diggs making the play. And the Vikings have really showing their might here in the second half. Again, timing. And that's one of the big reasons why he was named a starter today because he has timing down with the Vikings wide receiver. Hill led the Vikings to victory in a closely contested battle in Tennessee. Week two presented new opportunities. The first regular season game in U.S. Bank Stadium, playing host to Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, and the debut of Vikings quarterback, Sam Bradford. Let the Sam Bradford era begin for the Minnesota Vikings. He's the starting quarterback tonight, traded with Philadelphia 15 days ago for his services. You know, obviously it was a little bit different than probably any other season I've been a part of, going through practice that week and then obviously watching Sean out there week one. You know, I think I was pretty anxious by the time the kickoff for Green Bay got here. You know, I was just ready to get out there. Well, I can tell you it was really impressive. And Sam is a very intelligent guy, so he's got the aptitude to do it. But it's really hard. All of training camp and all of spring, you, you miss working with your teammates and seeing how they run routes. So. How does Adam Thielen come out of this route versus how does Stefan come out of this route? He was just so diligent about getting around his teammates, getting around those players and understanding them and somehow taking four months of work and just speeding it up to a two week process. You know, I think anytime you take the field though with a new group of guys, you know, there's going to be some kind of learning on the fly, you know, just how guys respond. When the lights are on, you know, the pace picks up a little bit. You know, everyone's faster on game day. I think more than anything, I was just ready to get out there and then obviously excited, you know, to see the new stadium because I'd heard a lot about it and the, the atmosphere was incredible. It's 10th play of the drive, third and four from inside the 10. Sam takes the snap, looks to the right, fires to the right, back right of the end zone. Kyle Rudolph, touchdown! touchdown pass as a member of the Minnesota Vikings and this place has just erupted Bradford deep downfield off the play fake with Diggs and he's wow. able to come up with the ball stretching out reaching out controlling it keeping it off the ground and what a night for this guy Bradford on play action going to the end zone you got it Diggs who else touchdown 25-yard connection, Minnesota 16, Green Bay 7. He's, he's at another level right now, Paul. It's great to see. That is one of the most impressive things I've seen a football player do. I, I have to tell you what Sam Bradford did tonight was one of the most impressive things I've seen against a very good football team. They were very smart in how they did that because that's a unique situation to be able to start so quickly after he arrived. And then as the season went on, all right, Sam's got this, now we can do this. So they, we, we kind of built it brick by brick, if you will. Yeah, I'm not sure if I could probably single out, you know, the exact moment where I felt like, okay, you know, I've got my feet underneath me. And, you know, you kind of have your base system. It's kind of the core of your offense. And then obviously each week you're going to have a few wrinkles for the defense that you're facing. And so uh, I would definitely say by the end of last year, I felt, you know, comfortable with what we were doing. In a season that sprung from sudden change, Sam was the model of consistency. He saw career highs in completions and passing yards and set the NFL single season record for completion percentage. Now in year two in Minnesota, Sam is comfortable, confident, and ready to lead the Vikings offense in a successful 2017 campaign.